Here are the best top three premium reels transitions in DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna go over a simple rotoscoping transition, overlay transitions, and a super insane camera blur transition as well. So let's hop into DaVinci Resolve. So for the overlay transition, you are gonna need an overlay. You can find this by going to YouTube, Googling free overlay transition, or even find them on free websites. But if you want the one I'm gonna use in the video, it'll be in the link in the description. So I have this little series of footage right here where it goes like this. And as you see, I have that little transition right there, boom. And if we flash back, we have another one that just goes like that. These are called overlay transitions and they're so easy to do. Using the link down below, you're gonna find these vert transitions. You're gonna put it into your footage. It's gonna come optimized for short form content to begin with. So all you have to do is go to the rotation angle and hit 90 and then just zoom it in and go to the composite mode and go to add. Then come find the middle point of your clip and put that in between both of your clips. Now, if you play it through, you have the overlay transition. Now let's go over the rotoscoping transition. So as you see here in my clip, I come in before I actually, the next footage starts. So as you can see, just like this, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this. And guys, I'm gonna leave practice footage down below so you can use the practice footage that I'm using in today's video. So we're gonna come with these two transitions right here and I want to start my face to start a couple frames before. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold option, which is gonna duplicate my clip. We're then going to double click on this clip and go to change clip speed and then go Go ahead and check mark the freeze frame. This is going to now make this whole frame just stand still. But we're only gonna need about four frames of this clip. So we're gonna put it in front of our clip. Now what you need to do is head over into the fusion page. Once you're in the fusion page, we're gonna hit shift space for a magic mask. Go to better and select out your subject just like so. Wait for your subject to be cut out and then go ahead and hit track back and forth. Now, as you can see, you're gonna have your, your transition come up and it's gonna be right here. But well, here's the thing, most of you guys only operate in the free version. So let me show you how to do it in the free version. Swipe up and hit option on your clip. Clip, do the same thing, double click and change it as a clip speed and go ahead and check mark freeze frame. In this freeze frame, go to the edit page. In the edit page, we're gonna come down to this clicker node and we're gonna hit the clicker just like this. We're then going to tediously mask out our subject. Once you get to the end, make sure you hit this and then it'll connect at the end. Then we're gonna come to the next tab and hit track back and forth. Now we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna turn up the soft edge and turn up the inside and the outside. Now the last step, you're gonna wanna double click and go to add alpha output and change this blue to the blue alpha output. Now we have a rough mask out of your subject. So now once you have that done, we're gonna head back in the fusion page and hit shift space for a color corrector and go to frame zero. And we're, gonna, we're gonna turn the lift all the way up hit a keyframe, and then go all the way to the frame zero and then turn the lift all the way back down. Go to the spline page, check mark the color corrector, zoom to fit, hit command A and hit S on your keyboard. We have that cut out rotoscoping transition, which is super clean that you can use in your next reel. Okay guys, so for the motion blur transition effect, we have two clips that I wanna transition into and these are like cinematic type of clips. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the effects page, drag down an adjustment layer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it each side to have three frames. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Once that cut, we're gonna go into the fusion page and we're gonna hit shift space for radial blur. Now we're gonna change this to zero. We're going to hit a keyframe, come to the middle when it transitions, turn up the radial blur just like that, and then go all the way to the end and turn it down. Now in the spline page, we're gonna hit zoom to fit, we're gonna hit command A, we're gonna hit S on our keyboard, bringing these points in just like so. That way when we come in here now, boom, it's like a super clean transition. Now to really add an effect to it, guys, I'm gonna give you some extra sauce here. We're gonna go to generators and grab down a simple color. We're going to create this as a compound clip. We're gonna go into the fusion page of this background. We're then gonna add an ellipse tool, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna size this up just like that and we're gonna bring this one up just like that. We're gonna hit invert and we're gonna crank up that soft edge. Then we're gonna also turn down the level just a tad. Boom, so now we have have something that looks like this. It's a little over the top. So now we're gonna mess with this opacity setting. We come back into the fusion page and we go under the ellipse and we have this level. We're gonna turn it down to zero and we're gonna go hit a keyframe and we're gonna come to the middle and we are going to turn it up just a little bit. And then we're going to go back down to the end of the clip and we're gonna turn the level all the way down. And we're gonna do the same thing for this, hitting command A, S, and then smoothing that out. So now if we play this through, we have a clean transition that's like really clean. It's like a blink kind of transition with motion blur. And you guys can use that in short form content as well. So if you found this short video helpful, go ahead and leave a subscribe down below. Check out all my editing packs in the bundle down below. These are going to be some of the most premium editing packs that anyone has to offer. So make sure you go check them out. We're running a huge sale right now.